Hey everybody, it's Josh from fitnutplan.com. Today I'm going to talk about ketone test strips. If you're somebody who is thinking about going on a ketogenic diet or you're already on one, we're gonna have to find out if you're actually in ketosis. Now there are a couple of ways to do it. Today we're gonna go over ketone test strips. However, you can also find out through your breath, which is going to measure acetone and acetoacetate. Also, there is through the blood, which is BHB, which is beta hydroxybutyrate. When using the ketone test strips, there are three things to consider. First is going to be hydration status. Make sure that you are hydrated throughout the day. This is going to have a massive impact on the results. If you're very hydrated, you're gonna find that the ketone levels are going to be what they should be when it comes to the urine. And if you're chronically dehydrated, you're gonna find that they're much more concentrated and it might not be reading correctly. The second thing is going to be how long you've actually been in ketosis or how long you've been on a ketogenic diet. This is going to have an impact on what comes out on the test strips as well. So if you're just starting out, let's just say you've been on the ketogenic diet for two, three weeks or so, the results might not be the same if you take the measurement, let's say two months down the line. The third thing to consider is going to be when using the ketogenic test strips, you're measuring ketones in the urine. You're not measuring them in the blood. So what you measure out in the urine doesn't necessarily reflect what's actually going on in the blood, which is actually more important. The main takeaway with the strips is that you're finding out if you're actually in ketosis or you're not. The degree to which is kind of an estimation. You don't have to worry so much about what brand you purchase. Uh, they all pretty much do the same thing. They all measure acetoacetate, which is one of the three bodies of ketones. So let's get a close up here. So here we have a close up of the ketone test strip bottle. They're all pretty much gonna have the same thing on them no matter the brand. So we have a scale here. Basically the color is going to indicate the concentration of ketones in the urine. So the lighter the color, the lesser amount of ketones you're gonna have in the urine. And then the darker the color, the more amount of ketones you're gonna have in the urine. As you can see here, all of them are going to be the same in terms of concentration. So we've got 0.5, 1.5, 4.0, 8.0, and 16 millimoles per liter. So you might be asking yourself the question, what is the best concentration to be in when you're in ketosis? In the book, The Art and Science of Low Carbohydrate Performance and Living, uh, Dr. Volick and Finney actually say that between 1.5 millimole per liter and 3.5 is going to be optimal. Now, just kind of keep in mind here, if you're in ketosis and you're satisfied, you have lots of energy and you feel great, that's really all that matters. You don't have to kind of go back and forth every day, weekly, monthly, once you're in ketosis to measure to see what your ketones level, ketone levels are. No matter what, um, they're always going to change. They, the color here might always change as well from day to day. So don't concern yourself too much with that. So let's crack out these puppies and see what they do. Forgot one thing, how to use them. Okay, so uh, we have our bottle, right? Now when you take a strip out of the bottle, you wanna be quick with it. So we're gonna open it up real fast. Okay, take a strip out and then we're gonna go ahead and shut it. Oh, you couldn't even see that, my bad. Okay, so now we have it out. Let's zoom in on it and show you what it exactly looks like. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a white strip. Okay, and at the very end, we have that indicator that's going to measure the amount of acetoacetate in the urine. Okay, so there are two ways that you can do this. One, you take the strip and you can urinate directly on the strip. Make sure if you do do this, that you urinate directly on the tab that measures the acetoacetate. The second way is going to be to take a cup, urinate in the cup, and then dip the stick in it nice and quickly. If you're going to use a cup, make sure that it is sterile, okay? Because if there's any contamination to the cup, it's gonna have an effect on your results. All right, let's go ahead and pee on some sticks. We're back, okay. So let's take a look. So I took two different readouts just to prove the point that throughout the day, your ketone levels in the urine are going to change. The one on the left was taken early in the morning. I didn't exercise, I was completely fasted, and I hadn't had anything to drink yet. So the dark purple color shows that ketones in my urine were in their upper echelons. The one on the right, which is much lighter in color, was taken later in the day. It was actually taken after lunch, I had done some physical activity, and I had some water, 
and as you can see, the light color shows that it's in their trace amounts to lower amounts. This just goes to show that throughout the day, as you exercise, eat food, hydrate, your ketone levels in the urine are going to change. Also, if you've gotten to the bathroom, that means that whatever ketones that were in your urine are now dispelled, and now your kidneys need to refill with whatever excess is in the body. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions at all, you can post below. You can also email us at joshmanda at fitnutplan.com. Take care and have a great day.